Now we will see Immol Property and the Transfer of Property Act. Transfer of Property Act defines Immol Property in Section 3 as that Immol Property does not include timber growing grass and crops. It is a exclusive definition. It excludes three things. Standing timber, growing crops and grass are not Immol Property. Then what are the things included in Immol Property? that we have to see the General Process Act. General Process Act section 3 subsection 25 defines immobile property shall include land, benefit arising out of land, things attached to the earth and things permanently pasted to anything attached to the earth. Four things are included here. It is a inclusive definition. It includes these four things. It does not directly say what is immobile property. It says immobile property includes the four things. One is land. Second is benefits arising out of land. Third is anything attached to the earth. Fourth is anything pasted to things attached to the earth. Simple definition land. Benefits arising out of land, if it is a lake or pond, uh, the right to catch fish. Things attached to the earth, a building. Anything faced into things attached to the earth, doors and windows. These are the simple example for this. We will see in detail. There is an another definition in Registration Act. This combines both the definitions, definition as per the General Process Act and definition under the transfer of property are combined together and the definition of registration act says immobile property shall include land, building, hereditary allowance, right to waste, lights, ferries, fisheries or any other benefit arising out of land or things attached to the earth are permanently pasted to anything which is attached to the earth but not standing timber and growing crops and grass. This is a definition which includes the both. Something more is that it is a, the hereditary allowance is also included under the immoral property as per the registration act. That is a right to collect donations at a temple. The puja is a right to collect donation is also a immoral property according to this definition. Right to weigh the pathway given as a right then that is also even though land is not they are not the owner they may have the right to use the way the pathway then that is also immoral property then fisheries all these things are this is a combination of both the definitions now we will see one by one first we will take land according to the general process act land is a immoral property what is a land land it is the determinate portion of the earth surface. It is a surface of the earth that is called a, that a land. That is immobile property. But it includes the space above the land. Not only that. For example, if the person is a owner of the land, the government should not say, we are going to construct a bridge crossing over your land. It is on the space above your land. We will be constructing a bridge for a metro train or for transport. We will not touch your land but the bridge will pass through your land over the space. It is not possible because the land owner has the right over the space above the land. This is second. Third, the ground beneath the surface is also Immoral property, he has a right. If the person is a owner of the land, it includes the surface below the land. Then, all objects either on or under by natural state, placed by natural state. Anything on the land is also a immoral property. For example, if it is a pond, water is there. Or if the minerals that uh, iron ore or uh, some other ore down under the land it is there means it is also a immobile property. Minerals
placed by nature under the land is also a mole property or anything placed on the land like a ponds that is also a mole property another things it may be placed by human agency also like a building it is a mole property this is a definition one this is the clarification on land what are the things land land space above things on the land or under the surface of the land Next, second is benefits arising out of land. What are the benefits arising out of land is also a immoral property. For example, if there is a pond in the land, a person is having a 10 acre of land, of that one acre is a pond where water is stored, fishes are there in that, then the right to catch the fish is also a immobile property that is benefits arising out of land right to collect leaves from the land that is also a immobile property so the immobile property may be tangible or intangible corporal or non-corporal if you can touch it then it is tangible if you cannot touch it it is intangible Land is tangible, water on the pond is a tangible, immoral property, but the right to catch the fish is also a immoral property, but is intangible. Now we will move on to the third one. Things attached to the earth. What are the things attached to the earth is also a immoral property. But what is attached? that we are transfer of property act says two things three things it says rooted in the earth as in the case of trees and shrubs embedded in the earth as in the case of walls and buildings attached to what so embedded in the permanent for the permanent beneficial enjoyment of that to which it is attached we will see the first one rooted to the earth a tree, the roots are in that land, so it is a immoral property. Rooted to the what is rooted to the earth is to be treated as a things attached to the earth, that is also a immoral property. Example tree. Second, embedded in the earth, that is something we are placing on the land, for example, a house or uh, factory shed. We dig uh, three four uh, feet down, put some concrete, fix it. It is embedded to the earth. Then what is embedded to the earth? Something attached to the earth. That is what we have seen. But all things are, cannot be taken as a embedded to the earth. For example, if a ship put an anger it may be embedded to the earth, the anger, but you cannot call it as a immoral property. So what is that? Then what is the conditions to decide upon the embedded property? Embedded to the immoral property. Embedded to the earth, three things, two things. Degree and the mode of annexation to be seen. How it is embedded to the earth? How it is the degree of annexation? For example, if there is a building and also another tent, tent or another hut, all things are embedded to the earth. But you cannot say that that hut is also embedded to the earth. You cannot say the camp tent is also embedded to the earth. Why? The general condition is, if it can be removed without much damage to the land, if it can be removed much damage to the land, then you can call it, you cannot call it as embedded to the earth. A hat can be removed without damage to the land. A tent may be removed without damage, but it is not the case with the building. So, one test for deciding what is embedded to the earth, whether it is a removal property, one test, test is, can we remove it? without much damage to the land. That is the degree of annexation to the building. First test. 
Second test is object of annexation. How it was uh, annexed to the land. For example, if a owner put a industrial shed there, we can say it is a immobile property. He will be putting some concrete slabs on top of it. He might have constructed some building or he might have put iron structures. That is one thing. There may be another person, a leasehold right person, may be taking lease for two or three years and he might have put a shed down that. Then that can be taken as a movable property because his interest is only temporary interest. Since it is a temporary interest, we can make, we need not take it as a things embedded to the earth. It is a temporary. That is the object of annexation. Object is only temporary. So long as he has the right over the land, he requires that. It is a temporary thing, it need not be taken as a immoral property. So there are two tests to decide whether it is a immoral property or moral property. One is the degree of annexation, other is the object of annexation, object of putting the things embedded to the earth. Now, the other one, things attached to what is embedded to the earth. So if you are fixing something on the things embedded to the earth. We are constructing a house. We are putting, uh, we are uh, constructing a house. It is in the land. We cannot remove it without damage to the land. It is embedded to the earth. It is a more property. But furthermore, we are adding something more for the beneficial interest. For the benefit, we are adding something more. For example, doors and windows. This is fastened to anything which is attached to the earth. House is attached, we are fastening something to the house, doors and windows for the benefit, then it is also immoral property. A person cannot say that uh, door is immoral, uh, not a immoral property, it is a moral property, I am removing it after the sale, he cannot say like that, it is also included along with the things embedded to the earth. Anything attached to the things embedded to the earth is also a immovable property. Now we will see the exclusions as per the Transfer of Property Act. Transfer of Property Act excludes three things. Standing timber, growing crops and grass. Standing timber, if the timber is for the purpose of taking the yield from the trees, then it is a fixed you know, immovable property that is things rooted to the earth. But if it is for the purpose of uh, cutting the timber, cutting the tree and selling it as a timber, then it is not a immoral property. Standing timber is not a immoral property. For example, casuarina poles or thick wood, they are being cut on expiry of their period, life period and sold as a timber. That need not be taken as a immoral property. That's a definition. Likewise, the growing grass and the crops are also not to be included as a immoral property. These are the immoral property things as per the Transfer of Property Act and the General Clauses Act. Now we have to see what is movable property. Movable property is not defined in Transfer of Property Act. It is defined in only in General Process Act. Movable property means property of every description except to immoral property. So the definition is clear. What is not immoral property is a movable property. Like uh, royalty. Royalty cannot be a immoral property. So you can say it is a movable property. Government promise or not actionable claims, all these things are movable property. Something which is not a immoral property is a movable property. In the next session we will see some more topics.